Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. OPC narrates how they arrested notorious Fulani warlord is Kilu Wakili. Please, if this is your first time of being here or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life. In Jesus' name, amen. The Odua People's Congress on Sunday narrated how its men arrested notorious Fulani warlord Iskilu Wakili, who terrorized Ayete and neighboring villages in Ibarapa land or your state. Speaking in an exclusive interview with the Punch on Sunday, Adedeji Oluwale, the OP6 sector coordinator who led his operatives and other vigilante groups to arrest Wakili, said the suspect was nabbed on Sunday morning. The OPC leader said it took over four days of continued operation and surveillance to nab Wakili and three other men. According to Oluwale, more than 10 OPC operatives went on the mission. He said Wakili's men shot fiercely at the OPC operatives before they were eventually nabbed. He, however, expressed shock that the police detained three of his men after they handed over Wakili. Oluwale said, we have been trying to get him arrested since four days ago, but because the man is very ruthless person, each time anybody tried to near his field, known as Iga Wakili, he will send his men to shoot the person. But we thank God this morning, when we entered his field and on getting there, they started firing bullets at us. Immediately they sighted us. They started firing, but thank God we were able to successfully arrest him without harming anybody. Wakili himself was inside his house this morning when we got there. So we picked him because he is an old man. Three persons were arrested with him. We didn't see any woman there. They knew what they were doing. They already took their wives and children out of the village. There were more men with Wakili, but as they sighted us, they started firing and fled at the same time. We recovered some of their cartridges. Oluwole, the Federal Capital Territory OPC coordinator, who is also an indigent of Ibora, said he relocated four months ago to Ayete to bring Wakili to book after state security agencies failed to arrest him. He added that, I am the state coordinator of OPC in Abuja, but I am an indigent of Ibora. I was born in Ibora and I grew up in Ibora. I am part and parcel of Ibarapa. When the problem started, I had to come down to the village to see how we can tackle the problem because this Wakili has raped some of my sisters and killed some of my parents. Some natives of the village have fled to Abiokuta and Lagos because of Wakili. I relocated to Ibora about four months ago when the police and the federal government didn't do anything about the security of our people. The OPC leader said Wakili and his men were not hurt in the operation and so wondered why the police detained three of his men. Nobody touched Wakili. Nobody hurt him. There are no traces of any hurt on him. He is an old man and we had promised the whole world that we won't hurt them, but we would arrest them for the whole world to see who is Wakili. Because all this why, he has been a faceless person. Nobody knows him. We didn't beat him or harm him. When we nabbed him, we put him inside a vehicle and handed him over to DPO in Ibora, whose name is Ajeyi Mark. The DPO then said he got a signal from the CP, Commissioner of Police in Iyaganku. They have taken three of my men to Iyaganku now. When contacted, the police public relations officer in Oyo State, Olubenga Fadeyi, did not respond to calls put to his line. A text message sent to his phone was also not replied to as of the time of filing this report. All right, guys, and uh, that is it for you all. This one is coming from the uh, OPC leader who narrated how they arrested this uh, Fulani, this notorious Fulani warlord, uh, Iskilu Wakili. And we have been hearing about 
Iskilu Wakili is Iskilu Wakili with all his atrocious uh, arts in Yoruba land. We don't even know that he's an old man. So these people, instead of the police to commend them for doing what they could not do, <laughs> they are condemning them. So this is the kind of country we have found ourselves. And I said it before that I posted the news and I said just one call from Abuja. We settle the whole issue. Area go scatter. Everything go just die like that. It seems as if I was joking. But where are we now? Is it not clear to us that this full and federal government, they are the one supporting terrorism? Now, these people have been arrested and charged for murder. Please, murder of who exactly? Maybe you haven't seen the news. I will leave the link on the description box. They said they were arrested and charged for murder and arson. Hmm. You see country? You see why they call, some people call this country zoo and some other people call it Banana Republic? Is Banana Republic not better than this one? Let's see how Nigerians are reacting uh, to, uh, are reacting to this news. I'm going to take some comments for you guys here and uh, I will leave you to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. Someone here wrote, you arrested and hand over to police, and now police arrested those that arrested the bandit. When will Yoruba people get sense? Someone here says, I read recently that the governor of the state have arrested those OPC members that arrested this terrorist, Wakili, Fulani Hesman, and have taken the terrorist, Wakili, to the hospital. Kai, anyway, I trust Eastern Zone in Biafra land. By now, unknown government could have been celebrating the dawn of one terrorist Heather. And someone here says, I watched the video when he was pretending, no matter what, Yoruba are not going back. We must divide. Divided we stand, not fall anymore. And someone here says, those that arrested this man don't understand Nigeria at all. If they do, the news would have been Wakili killed by unknown men. There is no law to observe while dealing with such terrorist people. Someone here says, the man is pretending to be sick, exactly how Boko Haram members behave when they are caught. Hence, the federal government gives them amnesty and after a few weeks, they will go and rejoin their group. And someone here says, why keeping this man alive? Waste his life and he don't deserve to live. And someone here says, stupidity at the highest level, a criminal warlord whom you confess to have killed your people and raped some of your sisters, who is also ruthless according to you, opened fire on you and your men. Then, after successfully arresting him, all you could do was to hand him over to police. Chai, I am highly disappointed. What if the fire they opened on you guys killed all of you? Useless effort indeed. Tomorrow, he will be out and continue his ruthlessness on your people. And that is it for you all. Uh, I'm stopping the comment here. I love reading comments sometimes because I love knowing people's opinion. And thank God that Nigerians are beginning to speak with one voice. The truth of the matter is that people are really tired with this government. They are tired with the way things are going in the country and they have no other choice but to voice out their grievances. So uh, I've come to this end of this video. I'm just going to thank you all for watching to this point of this video. Your love, your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. And I want to apologize for my voice. You can see that I'm trying, I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm struggling with this news, but at the end of the day, I've got to do what I got to do. So please don't forget to share this video like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video bye bye bye